some other employees that we have. There's going to be a lot of water here. And as you, the more you will see there, they have a lot of um, yeah. water waste. We can take the water out of the field so we can plant and harvest without any problems. But anyway, 2001, there was nothing. It was just a bigger and deep field here. You can see it over there. Yeah. Okay. Right here, oh, this picture here yeah. is right here. Okay, so in 2004, we started to raise pigs here uh, as a pig, pig production. So we started to build this here. 2006, this year. But that's when we started to build it, 2004, right? So Six. 2006. You came in 2004. Yeah, I came in 2004 to the United States and then. Uh, we started building in 2006. There's 8,800 sows here. There's two units, unit one, unit two. These are nursery one, nursery two. This is the main entrance. All you know, replacement wheels come through here, and we have an internal transportation system here, so people have to shower in. Shower. Now they shower actually here, but here they have to change clothes for people that live in town. Um, this. It's a finisher unit of 45,000 pigs and uh, five kilometers from there. Five yeah. kilometers from here in a straight line. So half of the pigs that we produce in these two units here, we were able to finish them. So we produce about 220, 230,000 piglets per year here, and we finish about half of them. We have the capacity to finish half of them. So this is the picture while we were building it. With the old finisher, we yeah, there's one. Right. We finish 65%. Yes, yeah, a little bit more. So this is when we were building and building and so on. June 2008. Yeah, this field until 2005 was all forest. Like this was a forest, just like this. Like around it. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I see. We cleared it and. <laughs> and then this is Mars recent recent one, February 2009. If this was in June, June 2008, that one is in February 2009, so six months later. As you can see here, uh, we may not be able to see all this more. All the, the, all the production, there are 10 units here. Each unit holds 4,500 pigs from 50 pounds to 200. To, to one more. Almost 300 pounds. Yes. Yes. So, each unit has its own uh, pump, you know, water pump. And we take about 60 meters now to pull the water out. The wells. Yeah, the wells. We got a house. So each unit like this uh, has two employees. And they all have, they're all couples, man and a woman. So they're hired to take care of one unit. That's the parents. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, the pigs are the children. children. <laughs> yes. Well, they all have kids. Or no, 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 so all the, all the, all the, the best the environmental property, you won't see anything better, better than any place talking about environmental uh -huh. protection. Yeah, yeah Paul lived in the United States and I did too. I, you know, Canada, how pig production is done there, pig production. There's nothing like this. It's environmentally friendly, environmentally correct. There's no, any waste, all the waste produced here goes on the underground to Big pipes. They go through. There's ten biodigesters here. We have ten here. Each unit holds one. And then the waste goes into the lagoons, and from here we control it in the fields. So it's all control. We control everything. We don't let anything. All protected the lagoons. Yeah, they all line up. So nothing goes in the ground. And uh, here, this picture here is the same as as that one. So it's just from another angle. The same way, all the waste produced. These two units go here for treatment, and the moon is here. The waste produced here goes into this eight biodigesters here, goes in here, and we pump it into the eucalyptus and the steel here. Uh, right here is our quarantine. We have a uh, unit where all the yields come in here for the replacement of this unit. We don't have any ball, we don't produce our own semen. We buy, we get our own our semen from an AI center here in town. So uh, only guilt go in and see. Uh, also we have a place here where 
we have a canteen for people to eat, and we we have a place here to hold about 60 to 80 people, so they can sleep there and all for singles. And a few houses, we had about five houses. How many hundred people stayed there? Yeah, and yeah. yeah. all the meals. How many people work here? So, so, in meals. Uh, right here we have another unit. This is 2000. 1000. Seven. Yes. Uh, chickens that lay eggs. All the eggs go to hatching you know, near, near, near town here. Those chicks go to populate the units for, for the packing plant. There's about 50 employees here. Seven. Seven, Seven yeah. Yeah, 50. Yeah, the was a total last night. 204 and some thousand players. Uh, this is a uh, cattle business. They finish about 16,000 head a year. They stay here between 90 to 100 days to buy it and just finish them up here. We have some cattle that are grazing, you know, there's a pit up here. There's some grass over here too. This is a hobby uh, unit, also the first one. It's been up here uh, since 2099, I think. That's that. This pivot is 97 hectares. I have two there. There's one here, one here. 97 hectares, which one here. All the waste produced in this hobby unit here goes into these lagoons, which is pumped into this, into this pivot and this one here. So we got it connected. Pumps are right here. As we pump the water, I just see it. Yeah, as we pump the water here to irrigate, it's got a pipe from under here. It goes all the way here, and it lines in the waste with mixed with water to fertilize this. So it works pretty good there. It's very nice there. So this is the this is the farm we are going to grow the more. You're gonna see this. This is just feed from kind of the, the methane gas from the digesters. Do you run the engines with that? Yeah. To make electricity here? Yeah, okay, we got now two, four, six engines running full time. And there's one more that's gonna be running next week. Two of those engines pump all the waste with the methane gas to pump to okay. the waste. And then four engines right now. They generate electricity for these two units here, and it's going to power So you're independent from the power grid? Pretty much. You make all your own. It should be by the end of the year totally independent. You make all your own. Not power. quite. Yeah, but close. Yeah. yeah. And we produce um, point, uh, one and a half million liters of oh. oh. Of equivalent, yeah, exactly. equivalent to a day. Decent, a day. Yeah. Ooh, that's so hot. <laughs> yeah. So how big are the horse right? Five hundred thousand gallons. How big are the motors? Five hundred horse? Did you see? How many no, horse power? No, 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 it's a small. We got to, we got to be independent around hundred and twenty thousand liters an hour. Each horse, one. Horse so power. Two, two or three hundred horsepower. No. Yeah. yeah. That truck engine. Yeah, truck engines. Yeah. But the pumps are not so big. This, this one's here, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely big. Mm -hmm. That's true, but the other ones are too big. They run six, seven hours every day. What? Big power. Big power. And this farm, we also have uh, 10,000 hectares of the crops. Four. Soybeans, that's the first crop, and then corn meal, cotton and corn, and the second crop. <coughs> yeah, and this is only now eight years old. It's fine. You did all this in eight years. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> well, I think it was very nice that you started everything new, so you had the latest ideas. Fixing up something old, you have everything beautiful. 